Welcome back to FT Markets. Greece has voted and the leftist anti-austerity Syriza party has put the country on a confrontation course with its European partners. So how much of a shock is this going to be for financial markets? With me to discuss this is Gilles Merck, who's the chief European economist at Bank of America, Merrill Lynch. Gilles, welcome to the FT. So far, uh, in the run-up to the elections, uh, there's a lot of tension in Greek markets, but Greece has been pretty much an exception in the uh, Eurozone. If we look at our first chart, where we've plotted the Greek bond yields against uh, Italy and Spain since the beginning of last year, as you can see, Italy and Spain have not reacted at all to what's been going on in Greece. Is that going to remain the case? I think so, yes. Uh, if you remember the situation we had back in 2011, 2012. At the height of the Eurozone crisis. Exactly. At the time, uh, basically, Greece was seen as a sort of dress rehearsal for whatever would happen to the rest of the periphery. And there was no instrument at the time available to the ECB or to anyone else actually in Europe to deal with contagion. Uh, this has changed already uh, after September 2012 when Draghi unveiled OMT, which offered whatever protection, it whatever it you. takes, yeah. some protection against contagion, even if it was more complicated than it seemed, but some protection. And now even more massive protection with QE, which introduces a structural buyer in the system, uh, which will keep normally Italy and Spain uh, out, of, out of harm. Uh, we need to be patient and look at the long-term effect, but for the time being, it should be, it should be okay. But what do you expect to happen in, in the days and weeks ahead then in Greece? Um, I would expect quite a lot of noise, quite a lot of volatility, because the problem here is that probably everyone on both sides of the fence, in Athens and in the Troika, and in, un Germany, and in Germany, understand that there is a need for compromise. I think that the red line in all this is on haircutting the prin principle of the debt that Greece owes to the rest of Europe. That is, that is a red line because it would trigger political issues in the rest of Europe. But finding financial engineering solutions around uh, extending the maturity further, reducing the interest rate, I think there's possibility for compromise. What's it going to take for Greece to become a wider problem for other Eurozone financial markets, Italy and Spain in particular? I think we need to get into a succession of policy mistakes and political mistakes on both sides of the fence so that we end up with uh, a much tougher relationship between Europe and Greece, where, for instance, uh, the possibility of a Grexit would a become exit, again, yeah. In, yeah, uh, an exit from the Eurozone would become again a point of focus. But you don't see that at the moment? I don't see that. The problem is that everyone needs to climb down from their initial position, and that is going to take some time. The latest news we've had from the political landscape in Greece uh, are to some extent a little bit worrisome because of uh, series are reaching out to another very staunchly anti-austerity party. Greeks, yeah. Independent Greeks. But there is enough normally scope to get to get a compromise. So as long as we don't get into a full confrontation, I think we should be able to keep this under Okay, if we look at our second chart, we've just plotted basically how stock markets have performed uh, Spain, Italy and the UK actually outside the USA, but showing how Europe's lagged behind uh, the US. Of course, the other big factor, we've, the big force we've had in the last few days is QE launched yes. by the European Central Bank, which has produced a bit of a rally already, you can see towards the end there. Is Greece going to blow that QE rally off course? I would say not in the short term. I think that for the time being, the portfolio displacement effect, the fact that lowering yields again is going to force people into equity, that is something that has legs. Uh, we might have an issue towards the end of the year. If what we have in Greece is replicated in other countries, uh, Spain, Spain, is going, yeah. Spain is going into general elections at the end of the year. So if Syriza uh, builds this uh, counter-narrative to the adjustment and manages to convince enough people in the rest of the periphery that actually it's possible to find another path, then you could have issues surrounding uh, Spanish debt as well towards the end of the year. Okay, we have to stop there, Gilles. Thank you very much. So Greece, not for the moment disrupting financial markets or blowing off course the effects of QE, but watch what goes on in other countries, particularly Spain.